Hi guys. Okay, I'm going to demo this and I was going to do it in graphite, but I picked another picture for my graphite. So this one's free to do in colored pencil. I'm going to do dark hair on her and it's like a dark auburn type hair and my colors for it are white, black, uh, sienna brown, dark brown, and henna. And we'll see you at the end of the video. Just relax and enjoy. I've defined my edges of where my clumps of hair are going to be. Now with the same color pencil, I'm going to block in my darker colors. I'm using a light, a medium, and a dark to bring the different depths together. in some of the areas that I know are going to be in the dark. Now I'm going to take a black pencil because I'm going to do dark hair and I want to add in some individual, in the individual hairs, groups of hairs, some really dark areas. It's also going to help define where the highlights are going to go. Thank you. 
I'm at the point of the picture where it's just flowing. Um, let me see, get my brown out. Because I defined the areas beforehand, I prepared it. It's now just a matter of going from area to area. Now, over here, I want a nice big highlight. So I'm going to do my lines and sort of work my way towards it. Keep your pencil sharp. Individual hairs. The individual hairs will bring it depth. Okay, as I get closer and closer to here, I'm going to bring in some darker lines into the highlighted area. Define this a little bit more. This goes on top of this. Got some white. This is just going to give it a little bit of depth and blur. The real white highlights I'll put on at the end. Now, this paper is definitely going to need some fixative. It's very smooth. From what I understand, this paper was actually made for multimedia. And they take into account that people will be using markers and other forms than pencils. That, from where this book was made, this is what I was told. Um, they're not as big into colored pencils as they are into markers. And that's why this paper gives people problems. Because it was designed closer for the markers. But there's always a fix. Okay, now I'm going to get out my black and I'm going to give it real definition. Now, if I was doing blonde hair, I wouldn't use black. I would use some dark form of maybe umber to do it. Now, I want to separate this from there. I want to get a nice... A nice separation. Following everything that I told you yesterday. <coughs> and I move on to the next area. Now this is all bottom. And I will be going to top layers once I get the whole thing done. And I'm able to really see where I want my highlights to go. Some people do the whole entire hair piece by piece and then leave it alone. I got to work bottom layers to top layers all over. Just the way I do it. Now she looks like she has like a lily monster white. I could actually put some pink like dye in this. Which, this is why I'm like kind of keeping it open and white. I may do that. I may put a, a pink highlight in it. Just to give her. And then maybe some pink in the chameleon. We'll see. I haven't thought it out that far. Okay, my highlight's going to go right in here, so just defining some of the areas that are on top and some of them that are on the bottom. And you can start seeing that highlight 
right where the light hits it, it's going to go up like that. And once I get the fixative on, the color is really going to brighten. Unfortunately, when you're working with smoothest, like smooth paper, it's not completely smooth, but this type of paper, it's hard. Now, this whole area is going in, so my highlight in this area is not going to be that bright. If I made it a bright highlight, it would sort of make it stick out, and then the hair wouldn't look very good. See, and then I have this one, so I want to make sure this is dark, so we can define the edge of that section of hair. And it goes right like that. This goes in. And then this will twist out, and that will twist in. And this is on top of this, so this area here would be dark. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. That's what it reminds me of. By the end, if all the pieces are there and nothing's missing, your picture comes out good. Okay, I'm going to go continue to work on it. I took the picture out of the book and I taped it onto an acrylic board and sprayed it. You have to do very light coats of this if the paper is thinner um, or it can um, buckle. So that's why I taped it down. It seems to be holding really well. Survived it. So I will continue. Now when you use this fixative on paper that you're you've um, not had good tooth, watch out because your colors are going to become very bright. <laughs> so let's see how it does. I'm going to start in this little area here. Oh yeah, this is way better. Okay, I'm going to just keep going. Defining the clump, building the highlight, and moving on. It's that easy. Really, a lot of people make a bigger to-do out of hair than there really is. It just takes a lot of patience.
Okay, so I've taken this picture about as far as I care to take it. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't like this paper. Even though I sprayed it to get new tooth, I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost as if the paper crushes on itself. You draw on it, and then it sort of splits, and the white from the inside, imagine it just like oozing out. So you draw on this, and then you draw on it, and you draw on it, and right now I feel like the paper is really overworked, even though I didn't have a heavy hand on it. I used very light strokes. I used the uh, the spray. I had the same exact problem with the first one I did. If you could see in the hair, it did the exact same thing. I just, at this point, I'm not interested in doing and working the face. I put my uh, cream pencil down onto the face and I started doing, you know, layers on it. And then I, I went to another pencil and it just felt like I was almost writing on uh, felt. It just didn't have a good feel to me. So it was fun. It was a day's color and I could have worked it a lot more. Um, I never got to the stage where I was going to put the white highlights into it or brighten it up. Um, I'm just not, not feeling it anymore because it's just not good paper. The artwork is gorgeous, so I'm not giving up on the book. I'm going to try it with some graphite pencils. Uh, I'm going to work up one more picture from it. If it doesn't work with graphite, it, then this book is meant for like markers and... I don't do markers, so maybe it'll go into the pile of things that I make copies of. It's a little wider than my machine, so and I don't have a hand scanner, so I don't know. I'll do something with it. <laughs> maybe my friend, I have a friend, Cat. well, everybody knows him, just made a Passover dinner. Um, I think she would like this book, and she's a beginner, so it may go to the cat pile, so... Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow, I guess, with a new video. Take care. Bye-bye.